Okay, and we are back. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. It's me. It's MD Tenebris. I'm back again to bring you some more mediocre gaming. Below me on the screen, I have three links. There's a red link and a pink link. Those are to my YouTube channels. If you want to see anything else that I've produced, either Polytopia or Pokemon, feel free to check them out. There's also a purple link that is to my Twitch. That's where I am now. I'm here on Saturdays at 2 and on Wednesdays at 6.30. That is p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to come and join the chat, talk to me live, hang out, that is the place to do it. There is also in the information box, a link to a Discord channel. If you want to get me offline, talk to me about any of the games I play or anything in general, you can do it there. So today, today, I'm standing up. We're trying to stand it up. We're going to see how this works. Um, might be a little messy. We might end up sitting down, but we'll see. So today, I wanted to work with this Curly Wall Buffalant. Um, It came out with the Stellar Crown set. It came out with the Terrapagos Pokemon, Terrapagos EX has the curly wall ability as long as you have at least one other Buffalon in play. All of your basic Pokemon, all your basic normal Pokemon take 60 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. This effect does not stack. You cannot have three Buffalon in play and get 120 off. It's just the 60 each time. So how are we trying to mix this up? We have Kangaskhan EX. This was the heaviest basic normal type Pokemon I could find that was not Terrapagos. Um, and I really like this Pokemon. I think it's really interesting. You got the incessant punching move flip four coins this attack does 100 damage for each head so you could do up to 400 damage with this pokemon you also have the triple draw draw three cards this allows you to have a little bit of draw in your deck for just one energy which isn't bad like we also have in here the biberal draw engine industrious incisors once during your turn you may draw cards until you have five in your hand and um the last pokemon we have in here is the blissey ex right so once during your turn you may move a basic energy from one of your pokemon to another of your pokemon this is basically to help us get the energy moving around kangaskhan has a three energy re requirement so it kind of makes it nice to have this blissey available so you could potentially set up pokemon when damage counters are getting big and whatnot we are playing it with the ability lucky bonus chancy right if you took this pokemon as your face down price card during your turn and your bench isn't full before you put it in your hand, you can put it on your bench. And if you put this on your bench, you can flip a coin and take one more prize card, potentially. So, that's an interesting little twist. We got a bunch of little twists going on in this deck. So, that's the idea. So, what else do we have in here? We got a Buddy Buddy Poffin in here to grab the Bibaro. We got some Earthen Vessels. We got some Energy Retrievals. We have thrown in here a bunch of bitch-ass tools. We got the Defiance Vest. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, this Pokemon takes 40 less damage. And we have the Bravery Charm, so this basic Pokemon gets extra 50 HP. So the idea is, you put those onto your Pokemon, the Kangaskhan is either going to get an extra 50 HP, so it goes up to 280, or it gets the extra 40 defense, right? And you add this 40 defense to the 60 defense from the Curly Wall, so you're taking 100 damage off each turn from this Kangaskhan, which allows it to get more incessant punching off. We also are playing in here the Boofer Buffalon. So this Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks, and if you pair that with the Curly... Curly Wall, that's an extra 20 on there, so you got 80 damage. The Defiance Vest gets you up to 120 damage reduced from just um, the itemization and the Pokemon synergy that we got in here. So that's the idea of it. Um, we got a Hero's Cape as well, because you could be looking at a 330 HP Kangaskhan that has like a 100 damage reduction on it, which I thought was kind of sweet. So we've kind of gone big, kind of focused on um tools and boosting hp and working around this this curly wall ability so that's how this deck is meant to work uh, all right well let's get into some games right oh we got the kangaskhan start we have the buddy buddy poffin for the bench so we can grab the bib uh the bit of but we can't we don't have access to the taurus just yet we do have the triple draw i don't remember if i'm going first or second we mulligan dude like half of this bench is is basic pokemon how how the fuck is am i mulliganing opponent is picking a number Taking their sweet fucking time. All right, Luminian. So we don't learn anything about this deck, and they lose access to the Luminious, Luminous Sign, which is kind of nice for us. We like that. Don't have the chance. See, I don't have any draw except for this Buddy Buddy Poffin and, and the Triple Draw. But they're going first, so I actually get to use the Triple Draw, so we're going to get three cards at the end of next turn on top of whatever we draw. Ooh, and they don't have anything to put down? They might have. They might have disconnected. This might be... Um... This might be a sad case of disconnect over here. So we'll draw three cards. What do we get? Iono, that's good. Bravery Charm, that's fine. Probably Iono next turn. Put another energy on the Kangaskhan. Iono. Oh, they did not. We got a Brute Bonnet coming out. So this looks like a... Uh... I mean, right from here, it's probably some kind of ancient deck, but... Could just be poison. We could be going up against the Conkledor deck. I gotta put that together. 
They're attacking with the Brute Bonnet. That's interesting. Oh, what was I thinking of doing with the Satyr's Vitality? Ooh. There was something I was working with. I've been working on a lot of decks, actually. I got a bunch of interesting decks. Cloth? It could be Cloth. We were talking about that earlier. Because you could put a Cloth Conkle their deck together. Um, which would be pretty nasty. And use the Brute Bonnet to set it up. Um, which would be interesting. Your turn. All right. So, another. Oh, we get the Bibarel. That's fantastic. We go Bibarel here. We go Energy. I think I'm saving the Bravery Charm in case we find something better. We're just going to go straight for the Iono. Okay. Nothing great. We did get the Hero's Cape, so that's big. That's a big, that's a big, big thing. And we're going to draw another three cards. Get another Kangaskhan. We get the Chansey. I wish there was a way I could put that into the prize cards. That'd be sick. So, seems like this is going to be an Okie Doki EX deck. They're going to use the Brute Bonnet to set up the Poison, even though he's got his own self-poison set up. And then with the Janine and the Petra on EX, you would have that Poison set up anyways. So, it seems like a not very efficient deck, in my opinion. Um, that's just my two cents. Because you just don't really need the Brute Bonnet or the, the Capsules. They just kind of take up space. When you could put like a monkey dory in there and you could get uh some extra damage out of it or something okay very nice it does let you use the atticus so that's a smooth move there what was the deck i was working with that i've got atticus in oh i was building a toxic as hell deck that's a fun one i'm hoping to get a couple of these decks so i gotta get i gotta start scheduling stuff and then i'm gonna be able to I'm going to have time to work on the decks before the stream, so we're going to have some good, spicy fucking decks to dig into. All right, we got to hope that we get the, uh, we got to hope we get the hit. We actually, the, the Hero's Cape gives us an extra. We should find another Buffalo, actually. That's what we need. We need to find another Buffalo. We got him, but that's not the one we need. That is not the one we need. We need, um, I would prefer to have a second Kangaskhan kind of play, I think. We need the... Hmm. We need the, um... The curly wall one. So I'm actually gonna go look for it. There it is! We got the curly wall bouffalant. We have the defiance vest to put onto this guy. Disgusting. We have now reduced our hand so we can use the bibero. If we get another bibero, that'd be sick. We did not... Okay. Um, and we're just gonna try it. Incessant punching, hoping for the heads. Let's go. No. Yes. 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 Oh, we got the knockout on Okie Dogi. Hell yeah. Hell yes. This is good. All right, we get the two prize cards. Damn, dude. I mean, it sucks because I feel like both the decks we've been up against so far just have not set up quickly. If we did go up against like a Charizard X, this would be a slightly different story. But we are crushing it right now, so it is. No, uh, it's unfortunate for the opponents that I've had the time to get set up. Dude, that means this, yeah, this 330 HP Kangaskhan has a, a, a 60 HP buffer in front of it. Janine coming in. They're still going to have to use the poisonous musculature. Yeah, this is good. I like this deck a lot. I'm excited. I hope it does well. And we have that Chansey. We have the Blissey in here in case we need to, like, move energies around and stuff. Um, but it doesn't look like we need it just yet. I think I'm going to start energizing this Buffalant, to be honest, because he's got the 100, 100 um, defense buffer. So even if this guy's doing 230, he's only doing 130. Oh, I'm not going to survive. Never mind. We should start loading up this Kangaskhan. If we can. And wait, they didn't... Wait, 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 wait. Attach them to this Pokemon. Wait, but it doesn't have them attached. I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, we got the Crispin. That's actually perfect. I'm gonna go like that. Ooh, cool, cool. We're gonna put one onto this Kangaskhan. We're gonna put another onto this Kangaskhan. Um, and I think that's it. We're just gonna go for the incessant punching again. We're gonna hope we get it. Heads, heads. Oh, we got it again! Two goes in a row, and they're using the uh, the ancient booster capsule on the Okie Dogie. That's not gonna work, my friend. What are you doing? 
Yeah, this deck is... They, they need a little help with this deck. We got another Curly Wall Buffalant. That's excellent. Dude, this deck is working. I'm very happy with this so far. Very fucking happy with this. Oh, man. We got to get it against a fast deck, though. That's the concern. Um, and we've got things to slow it down. So we do have the Snorlax dolls in here. Specifically in case, you know, you go up against a Charizard EX or something. And you need something to sacrifice. But you don't lose the prize cards for it. That's why it's so good. So he just went to do 120. And he got it got protected by the 60 wall. That's fantastic. I'm going to put energy on here. Um, We could go Arvin, I guess. What am I going to get? Nothing, really. Um... Switch might work. I've already got a switch. Do we need what? Two? Just two heads. Oh, one short. Missed it. That's all right. Those flips could have gone way worse on the Okie Dogie as well. This is why this is such like a, a variable deck because you might not. You could go three times in a row and get zero. Uh, is the scary part. So. Little little terrifying to play with this, but we're excited. It's uh it's the Kangas. They're so cool. Kangas paired with the groovy buffalo. Okay, they've got Crispin in here as well. They didn't think to go uh Seda's Vitality. This is a weird deck. It's doing too much. I think their deck is doing too much. Um what what is using psychic energies in here? Wait, what? I haven't seen a single psychic Pokemon. Okay, there you go. There's one. Hmm. That's an interesting one. That's a decent stall if you get lucky. But if you don't get lucky, it's just one prize card. Just super easy. So. Let's see. Got two prize cards left. Honestly, I don't have a boss's orders. But if I did, I would just cycle the Luminium V in. Oh, so they're just poisoning me again? It's not looking good for you, King D. It's not looking good. He's retreating. Okay, wait, what? So they're just stalling out with the uh, Pezzendipity then. They're like, best case scenario is you just get zero prize cards. How much HP is it? 120. So they're not even doing that. I would still need to get two heads flips either way. So that would actually be the smartest one. Okay, never mind. They are, uh, they're going, they're going for it. They want the win. Very bizarre um, turn of events here. We're going to put this on there. I'm confused as fuck. Can we get three? That'd be cool. Three. Heads. No. Yes. Ah, fuck. Dude. Gambling is too much fun. It's, it's a dangerous it's a dangerous thing to take, take part in. All right. They got the okie dogie. It's too late. Oh, I guess they could retreat the Luminium V. Maybe we'll get a boss's orders here. Maybe we'll get three coin flips. Oh, they're bossing me. Oh, we got the jet energy in hand. Clever, clever. You should have gone for the Buffalant with the Curly Wall. That would have made uh, your life the easiest. Not the useless bit of. They're not even putting the Pheasantipity for it? Okay, I guess they're using the Musculage there. They're hope I have two switches and a jet energy, but they're hoping. This is exactly why I have these, because these Pokemon don't have like a two energy retreat cost. See, this is how you make other decks viable, is by giving this guy a huge retreat cost. I get the whole point you can do that because you have the Petron EX that removes that, but like by doing that, you just make it easier for weaker decks to take part because they have that ability to retreat. Um, so we're just going to switch. We did not get the boss's orders. But we're just going to hit. Can we get three? Yes. No. No. Okay. So we only got 200. That's all right. We're chilling. Oh, we're 20 points away. I might switch in the Buffalon if this... Uh... He didn't find the energy, though. So I'm confused about what the fuck is going on. One, two, three... Four, five psychic energies. Gee. Six, seven. How many energy do they have in here? They can't switch the Petron in. 
I'm not sure what their plan is. This guy's gone. I could literally just not attack next turn. Um, because they're gonna get damage coming here, which would take them to 230. Damage going back, which would take them to 240, and then damage coming back to me would be to 250. So if I just don't go. So we got Monkey Dory coming in. I just think they're doing too much with this deck. If you want a really fun Okie Doki EX deck, definitely check out my YouTube channel, the MD10 Everest Plays Pokemon YouTube channel. I have one of these. I actually streamed it a little while ago. It is mad fun. It's I feel a lot better than this deck. Not effective, but the Pikmin, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? Have you played Pokemon Pocket? I have not. I have not. I think I went to download it and it wasn't out yet. Um, just going to hit that. Let me see. We got one. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, they changed the logo for Pokemon Go. That looks kind of interesting. Um, App Store. Let me grab these. How have they not added in an automatic take at the end? Going heads as always. Got the heads. Okay. And ah, should I try going second? I'm going to try going second. I think I've gone first every single game. Dude, hit him with a zero sick to get your opponent to three cards and then possibly get rid of all of them. Dude, that is so brutal. Um, Yeah, we got a switch here. That's fine. We got Arvin. We can go for Nest Ball. We can set up a Kangaskhan. We can switch the Buffalon out. We can use the draw on our first turn. So, I kind of like going second so far. We got Growlithe coming in. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my god. It's so nice. It's so fucking nice. It took them a year and a fucking half to get rid of the damn fucking rainbows. Holy cow. I can't. I can't believe it, dude. That's great because this means... Um, look at, look at, uh, who wants to find Spester? Ooh. Ooh, this might be... This might be a delicious start. Kangaskhan... Bang. We have the Crispin, so unless we get Iono, this guy's ready to hit next turn with the Incessant Punching, so that's very exciting. Very exciting news. I use it alone, but also hand and deck disruption with supporters. Yeah, that makes sense. That's how I would play that Sharpedo, to be honest, is um, like lots of disruption. Just before rotation. Brilliant. Oof. Uh, we're going Crispin here. Grab two cards. Put one in hand, yada yada. Put the other onto the Kangaskhan. We're gonna get rid of all of those energy. So very excited. We'll go Nest Ball. We're gonna grab uh, one of the tough Buffalons. Go. Throw a Bravery Charm on this guy. And we'll just do some incessant punching. I just need one heads. Just need one heads, come on. There we go. There we go. We got it. Crispin is such a good card if you're playing. It's opened so many multi-type decks up, which is really nice. Um, it's not only there for dragon types. If you can... It helps normal type decks. If you can pair two types as well. Um, such a good card. I'm so happy with, with this addition. Because that's what we need. That's what the... This is what the meta needs. Is it needs more items. And it needs more uh, supporter cards that work for every type that accelerate energy so that there are so many more viable um, types of deck around. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna come in. We're gonna hit this guy. Just need the one heads. We got set up really quick. Okay, we got a heads. Oh, that was close. Holy shice. Now they got no energy in play. Charizard will have something to say about that. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, what turn is it? Turn three, we're up and running. In fact, that's the second time we hit. So, going second allowed us to get the Kangaskhan ready for turn two. That's kind of nuts. But that Crispin was huge. Crispin was huge. Boss's orders? Okay, um... Nest ball buddy buddy. Um... Yeah, we'll go like hmm. 
So I guess we'll set the Kangaskhan up, right? We'll start loading this Kangaskhan up on the bench. Get another energy on here. Come in. So we just need two heads. Deal with this Radiant Charizard. That'd be fantastic. One. Two. Yes, we got it. No wonder decks were so bad. I realized I was on... <laughs> I was on casual. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's what happens. People play people play with bad decks on casual. You're saying casual instead of standard in place of ranks. This is not the Charizard I was expecting. Okay. Okay. Interesting. We got a, uh, a Charizard EX. This is going to be even harder to deal with, actually, because as soon as I hit him, he's going to have that 160. Uh, but it's going to take a little time. So it, this is actually conducive for us. Boss's orders would be good, too. It's interesting they, they moved him back because that I mean the 160 is not going to do tons just because of the damage reduction we got in play already with the curly curly wall we got two okay we got the knockout on the Moltres we're getting the luck this game getting a good amount of luck let's one shot that Zard that's the hope man that would be such a great way to end if I actually got the four heads in a row the legendary the unseen as of yet four heads in a row. Ooh, that's a good time to get that. Why wouldn't you just put... Oh, he's already got the expert shot. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that Magma Basin synergizes is so nicely with the Arcanine for the Raging Claws. Mm. That Hourglass thing is, is brilliant. Just overload your Arcanine EX deck with um, Fire Energy and you're good. Okay, we're going to put the last energy on here. I'm going to go... Can we close it here with four heads? One? No. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We got, we got one heads. Classic. And now he's doing 160 damage to us. Fantastic. This is such a low-key, underrated card, I think, because what, your other Charizard EX is doing 180, and it scales for two energy with free energy acceleration, and this is doing 160 for one energy if you've got damage counters, which is nuts, and they're only doing 100 because, obviously, we got some big-ass curly wall here. Ooh. No, I don't want to do anything. Oh, I'm going to get rid of the magma. What am I doing? All right, come on. Heads, heads, heads. Ah, oh. 30, 30 damage short. Dang it, dude. All right. 300. Need 30. They can retreat, though, if they have another energy, but then what's the point? Boss's orders. Oh, I have the jet energy in hand. I'm sorry, my dude. That's tough. Does get a price card. They do get a price card. That's fair. I might just cycle this one in. <laughs> Here we go. Clean bill of health. Actually, it's got the same amount of health because of the um because of the hero's cape. All right, let's see. Just need one heads. And we got it. Three. Oh, I got the Luminian start. Oh, that's tough. It's always so unfortunate when you end up with those cards that you, you need to play. And you have to play them to start. And it's like, yeah, you need a Professor Turo or something. That's a shame. Did it. We got a win. We beat Charizard EX. Not bad. Look at that damage. Oof. When the coins flip, they flip hard. Okay. So that is going to be it from me today. I hope that everyone that came along for the stream had a good time. I had a very good time. I love these coin flippy decks. I love, you know, putting it all on the line. I'm an inherent gambler at heart. I am seeing someone for help. It should come through any day now. But um, yeah, so not the most effective deck. Uh, a lot of variants. Really fun, though. Um, they didn't give a ton of optionality in terms of basic Pokemon that you could use for it. I mean, it's really Terrapagos. And then I guess uh, you got Bombardier would be... There's a couple of normal types that are basic that are big, but... I felt the Kangaskhan was fun. I love Kangaskhan. Um, it's a fun deck, so feel free to check it out. If you put your own version together... Let me know in the comments or send me a message or something. I'd love to hear uh, what kind of Pokemon you substitute in. That'd be cool. So, below me on the screen, I have three links. There's a red link and a pink link. Those are to my YouTube channels. 
I play Pokemon, I play Politopia, so if you want to go and check that out, I've got plenty of content up there. Um, you can like, you can subscribe, you can click the bell, it will let you know when there are new videos available. The purple link is to my Twitch, that's where I am now. I'm here on Saturdays at 2 and on Wednesdays at 6.30, that is p.m. Eastern Time, so if you want to come and join the chat, talk to me live, hang out, help me build the decks, that's the place to do it. You can also join a Discord channel, it is in the information box below in a link. Um, you can post decks there to get commented on or help build decks um there's a lot of stuff i put up announcements on the streams and stuff so um feel free feel free to come and hang in whatever way you feel comfortable so i'd like to thank everyone that came along for the stream today and you the viewer at home if you're watching this on twitch or on youtube after the facts i appreciate the support i hope you're enjoying the content as well and uh yeah if you are feel free to drop a follow or subscribe or do any of that stuff write a comment be like this content's great keep it up i'll be like yeah do any of that it's all available to you so um yeah thank you very much i appreciate it wherever you are in the world i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i hope you get a fantastic night's sleep tonight and i hope you wake up rested and happy ready to take on tomorrow that is going to be it from me today this is md tenebris i'm signing off so take it easy peace out and adios thanks